Line items can be formatted in various ways to change the look and feel of your documents, giving you more freedom of how you present them to your customers. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to apply these formatting techniques to your documents. Here is a comparison of what a basic line item description looks like versus one that has some simple formatting applied. Now let's take a look at how this is done. Traditional line items usually consist of a name and a description, but with a little additional syntax, you can get some really expressive formatting results. Headings can be added using the hash or number sign. You can place between one and six of these to achieve the desired heading size. Be sure to leave a blank line between formatting groups like headings or bulleted lists. Lists using numbers or bullets can be made using numerical numbers or asterisks, but be sure to leave a space before your text. Horizontal lines can be inserted by using three or more hyphens, asterisks, or underscores. Emphasis such as bold or italicized text can be added using asterisks or underscores. And web links can be added using the square angle brackets. Once finished, save your changes. You may notice that there are no unit price, quantity, or total shown on this estimate. The columns displayed can be controlled by selecting the Edit Group option. Uncheck any of the columns you don't want to be displayed and select Save. Your group settings can also be saved so that each time you use that group name, the settings will default. Now let's see what this document looks like now. Now these are just some of the ways you can customize your line items within Estimate Rocket. You can find a list with all the shorthand syntax I've been using here today on our support page, which I've linked below in the video description. Feel free to contact us with any questions that you might have.